was very impactful. Um, what, what did you see from looking back at the film of that game? I really thought, um, you know, that was probably his best overall game that he's played since he's been here. And, uh, you know, obviously some of the passing statistics aren't going to reflect that. But um, I did think he was impactful in terms of his pass rush. But the way he played the run was was definitely the best that, that it had been since he's been here in terms of um, – being impactful, but also doing his job within the defense. And I think, uh, you know, he went into the game with the mindset, you know, of, of doing whatever he had to, be, to do for, for the team to be successful. And uh, you know, I thought he played really hard, and I thought he played really well. On the missed field goal by Clemson, did they feel pressure differently from you guys from something you did earlier in the game? Or what did you see on that play specifically? Um, you know, we... I was probably a little bit cautious on the first field goal attempt, just you know, with them having um, a a new kicker situation. Um, we were very fake aware on, on the first field goal attempt. But on that, on that field goal attempt, I didn't think a fake was was necessarily something that would have a high likelihood of happening. So we went a little bit more to a traditional outside block. Um, but I don't I don't know that it was that 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 had a, a big impact on. It. I think he just pulled the ball a little bit. But um, I do know we got some some pretty good pressure with Renardo off the edge. Um, whether that impacted it or not, it's it's really hard to say. But um, obviously, a critical play in the game. I think you've addressed a little bit before, but the, the good moments de keep uh, compounding for Ryan. Uh, for him to keep responding based on what he did last season to, to have this year, I guess, how rewarding is that for you as a coach to see that happen? Well, you know, I, he uh, Ryan's done, done a great job this year to this point. Um, you know, and he's he's I think he's handled everything like a pro, you know, whether it was when he wasn't hitting the ball as well a year ago. Um, and really towards the end of last year, I thought he really did a nice job of responding. And I think that's just kind of carried into carried into this year. And, um, you know, and, and he knows, though, you're you're one kick away or one game away from from, you know, people being back on you a little bit. And I don't think he worries about that. Uh, I think he's going to go out there and, and um, do the best that he can possibly do. I know he had a really good off week in terms of just getting back to some some things he wanted to work on. And uh, you know, I know he's, he's primed to have a, a good second half of the year. Alex Mastromano, especially in that fourth quarter, had a couple of good pit, um, punts to pin him deep. You know, how much does that help? How, how much do the defensive players go over to him you know, say, good job? And how much does that matter? Oh, that was that was huge. I thought Alex did a great job for us. Um, he was able to flip the field over a couple times, especially uh, that punt that was late in the game that we were in our own end zone. I thought he hit a great ball there. Um, you know, if he doesn't, you know, he's going to set up a, a pretty short field position for them. Um, I thought our coverage was really good, and, and I think our guys recognized it. You know, as a matter of fact, um, you know, Alex was our, our special teams player of the game within our own our own team uh, last week, and, and it really came down to, to how he operated and how he how he was able to affect the field position in the game. Your guys roll up front defensive ends going up against a quarterback like Drones. Um, you know, it seems like they're running like almost like triple option concepts, it seemed like. What, what sort of challenge is that? Is there more of a spotlight on you guys to be that much more fundamentally sound? Yeah, you know, I think uh, any time uh, that you, you play a, a mobile quarterback, there is the the point of emphasis in terms of, of everybody being able to execute their role and responsibility, especially in the design quarterback run game, uh, which you're you're referencing. You know, they everyone's got a job, um, everyone's got to fit their gap, everyone has a role and responsibility, um, especially when the quarterback starts running the ball. And, and it's really critical that that we're disciplined in everything that we do. Um, you know, to, to make sure that that we handle our role within the defense. I was watching a game where I think they said there are 70, over 70 punters in Division One football from Australia. I mean, that's become like a pipeline now, a cottage industry, really. Does Master Mono have you talking to other people out there? Is that just what, you know what I mean? Like, is, does he have connect, obviously has some connections in that country. Sure. Does he have some connections for who's going to replace him? Well, his, he, he actually, his coaches that, that kind of facilitated some of that recruitment are the ones that I talk to. Um, you know, I'm sure he has a pulse in terms of who else may be good players, but not something that he and I generally engage on. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll have to make some decisions when, when that time comes. You know, um, 
I really like Max Cimento, who's on our team now, as as uh, you know when Alex is, is graduated and stuff. So um, we'll see kind of where that goes. It's a little bit early on in, in that process, but you know the Australian. I guess the thing that the Australian player brings to the table is just multiplicity and and how you punt. You know the roll punts both ways. There, now you see more and more guys kicking with both the right and left foot. Um, so it does it does add an element uh, to your strategy when it comes to punt and also adds a, a little bit of a, a challenge to your punt return as well. On the, uh, on the place kicker, just as a position, uh, do you watch these? I mean, I assume you, when you watch some of these other games, the Clemson, or excuse me, the Duke Notre Dame game, obviously the Clemson guys had this situation. It seems like these kickers, I mean, a lot of, you, when they have these misses, it's so magnified. Like how how big of a part of that is just handling, like you said, the way um, Fitzgerald has handled his situation. Like it, they, they all can kick, or they wouldn't sure. be on these teams. But handling that, how how difficult is that? No, you know, I think I think uh, you know that situation, um, those moments that that you're referencing, those are high pressure, high leverage situations, and um, you know you, you got to be in them to you know enough times in your career probably to to be comfortable with them uh, I don't know that anyone's ever totally comfortable in those moments but um, you know I think Ryan's done a great job of, of responding both positively uh, to positive moments and and to moments that were negative um, and just continue to focus on the next kick but you're right you know there's a lot of games where that that's what it comes down to and um, you know it, and we talk about it all the time as a, as a team as a as a program as a staff that you know you got to play every play because you never know which one is going to be the one that that directly impacts the game, and uh, a lot of times it's those those kicking situations that do. And you got to be ready for when your opportunity presents itself. With um, obviously with um, Fitzgerald winning the um, kicking competition, Keltner was involved as well. When you guys get in a game like Southern Miss where you have a blowout, is there consideration of giving Keltner opportunities as well like when the, some of the backups go in? Um, you know, it, it depends on the situation. Like in that game, uh, we did play Max Cimento, um as a, as a kickoff guy in, in, that, in that Southern Miss game uh, to get him some reps and some opportunities. Um, it just depends. It just depends. I mean, th there may be a situation where that comes up at some point in the year, but especially that early in the year, um, I was really looking just to try to keep Ryan in rhythm. Um, wasn't really looking to, to, to make any, any adjustments there, but we'll see as the season goes on whether that's something that could come up. On, uh, <coughs> excuse me, on Clemson's last play, the pass deflection, was it Pat that got it? Yeah. And, and is that, had you, did you guys play that? Situation the same throughout the game, or did you have to adjust much? And, and that, I guess, um, you know, in, in terms of that specific play, I thought first of all, I thought Pat played really, really well. Um, he was impactful on a couple plays uh, where he's able to use his length, get his hands up, um, impact throws, uh, made a huge stop. The play right before the field goal that we forced on the quarterback runs. So Pat Pat really played well, and I thought he really played well uh, in the fourth quarter. But uh, in terms of that call, I mean, I thought Coach Fuller made a really good call. I mean, fourth and two, um, you know, is everything kind of happened real fast because it was went from third and one to now fourth and and two, um, you know thinking that they were going to come out and maybe run the ball on the third down play, and then they, they threw it out on the spot screen. And then Coach made a great call. He went zero pressure, um, brought double-edge pressure. Pat was able to get his hands up in a throw lane, um, knowing the ball was going to have to come out quick in that situation. And, and you know, thankfully, we were able to make a play. And he needed all of that 6'5 frame and length to, to get a finger on it. But it was, it was a critical uh, play in the game, obviously. And uh, you know, it, was, it was exciting to see him have that, that opportunity in that moment. Uh, in such a big situation for the program. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thank you, guys.